All praises to Yahweh, Basha, Yahweh Shai, double honors to Apostle and Elders in New York, GMS. Citations to you, all can run the world, teaching the truth, and shout out to you, serious aqua. My name is Maya Ka'ala, Bun Gad, what you call called branch of Great Millstone. Like make a disclaimer that we are not black, Hebrew Israelites. We are Israelites. The Israelites are the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled birds scattered abroad. Speckled birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their fathers put turn on blood line, go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. We are not fitted with any violent or terrorist groups. We are not fitted with any other Israelite -like groups. And right here, Session 107, Cover A provides a statutory framework for determining where something is a fair use, identify certain types of uses, such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, research, and stuff that too might qualify as fair use. So, this video is basically teaching, scholarship, and research. All right. And, um, what we're about to do, take a look at um, this Amazon commercial, man. All right. And um, it's about Pompeii. All right. And um, again, um, I'm using this clip from Amazon for educational purposes. All right. Um, I'm not making any profit on it. This is for educational purpose purposes for the Utah audience. I do not own a video, nor the audio to it. All right. And about here, about to show you um, uh, the Gentiles who Paul, an uh, example of the Gentile that Paul was dealing with in the New Testament. Because you got a lot of Christians, all right? And they have a misteaching of the Bible, you know, due to Esau and his doctrine of, um, of um, plantation Christianity. And plantation Christianity had done a lot of damage throughout the world, particularly to uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, you get this scripture right here. It says, uh, and uh, it says, John chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews among themselves, Where will he go that we should not find him? Would he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? All right, and who's dispersed? There is like so you go to James, um, you go to James, verse 1. All right. So let me move this out of the way. James 1 verse 1. It tells you, it says, James, a servant of Yahweh and of Adwan, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. All right. So he's talking about the Israelites in the Greco uh, Roman colonies. All right. One of them is Pompeii. Most high destroyed it, man. Look up Pompeii, man. Uh, it put the fear of your heart within you, man. All right. And Pompeii was wicked, man. Wicked. All right. Everything going on in America today was going on in, in Pompeii. Like I said, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9. There's nothing new on the sun. So I'm about to play this clip. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. What year is it? All right. And you can see right here. So there you go right there. All right. All right. This is the Gentiles. This is the Greeks. All right. This is who, who Paul Paul was, was dealing with. All right. This is who this is what, what Cornelius was or Israelite that was dispersed among the, the the Romans and the Greeks. This woman right here is her is a uh Israelite. All right, but she's dispersed among the Romans in Pompeii. You see right here, she she got the wearing the, the Roman garbs. She got the hair. She, of course, she she speaks the language, the Roman language. All right, but she is an Israelite. All right, in today's terms, she would have on um, American clothing. She would have American hairstyle. She will speak um, the American English. All right, and she would. <laughs> Eat the same, uh, uh, basically, uh, cause back then they were eating abominable foods and stuff. And so she'd be eating abominable foods today and she, she'd be calling herself what? An American citizen. Back then, <laughs> since it's, yeah, there is reincarnation, back then she was 
she was just calling herself a Roman, um, a Roman citizen and doing the same thing, man. All right, going around thinking she's Roman or thinking she's Greek. All right, <laughs> okay. So this was basically what the Gentiles was. Um, um, who the Gentiles are in the Bible, they was it was like scattered among all the nations. All right, because you go right here, you go to the beginning, and this is why um, Esau took out the the prophet. I don't want you to deal with the prophet to the Christian. Cause the prophet tell you, give you a good history of um, of um, how the Gentiles started. The beginning of the Gentiles that Paul was talking to. How did they? How did they? Um, well, how did the Israelites become Gentiles? All right, it says right here, Amos chapter one verse eleven. It said, "Those days went there out Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about. For since we departed from them, we had much sorrow. So the Israelites pleased them well. Then certain other people were so for herein that they went." to the king who gave them license to do out the ordinance of the heathen all right so they got okay from their king to do license out the heathen man it says now when the uh all right uh, let me see where it said uh so i kind of skipped up skip um all right it said whereupon they built a place that this ass at Jerusalem, according to cousin, he could really the word uh, gym gymnasium means naked. All right, so back then they were assassin naked, man. Ain't nothing wrong working out, but he <laughs> doing it the, the heathen way, man. Assassin naked. It said, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and was sold and was sold to do mischief. All right. So that's the beginning of the Gentiles, man. All right, that's what that's what um uh that's what happened, man. All right, and you go right here. You go to uh, another incident. Um, second Maccabee, so four. Salat. Okay. All right, four. All right, you go to uh, ten. All right, here you go right here. It says, um, it says, uh, second Maggie chapter four, verse 10, when, which, when the king had granted and he had gotten to his hand a rule for, for, for about his own nation to the Greekish fashion. <laughs> All right. So there you go, man. All right. The royal people shall grant a special favor to the Jews by means of John, the father of uh, Eupolismus, who went to ambassador Rome for a million aid. He took away, putting down the governments, which were according to the law. He brought up new customs against the law. Now such was the height of Greek fashion, increase of the heathenish matter through the seed and profanes of Jason, that ungodly wretch and no high priest. All right, so they go to the second instance where there's like... Um, Forsake the law, statutes, commandments, you know, and started uh, taking, basically start taking up the ways of the um, the Greeks, all right? Well, the Edomites, pro, um, the Edomites perpetrating themselves at the Greeks, because the original Greeks were dark skinned people, all right? Could you go, all right? But uh, you read first Maccabees chapter one, say the first over Greece, all right? Say though people's conquered by a foreigner. All right. <clears throat> you know, that's who uh, the Gentiles were in, in the scriptures, man. Matter of fact, yeah, well, yeah, I was trying to say. All right, you go to quick cut. John chapter 4, verse 22. And this is what your house shall say, man. All right, with, with these scriptures, man, all you gotta do is just bring out, keep it uh, simple, man. Right? Just like um, the. Uh, the elders of, of our elders, your choir, man, from the old one West school, man, he kept it simple as like um, Elder Gabar uh, um, stated. All right, John chapter 4, verse 22, ye, ye worship, ye know not what we worship, what what we work, you know what, we know what, so let me say this over again. All right, John chapter 4, verse 22, ye worship, ye know not what 
we know what we worship for salvations of the Jews. So there you go right there. Your how child himself tell you who the salvation for the Israelites are to this heathen woman. I'm going to go up a little bit. I should have read this, but anyway. It said, verse 21, Your house shall say unto him, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall need in this mountain, nor yet in Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. All right. Okay. So salvation is clearly for the Israelites, the Gentiles that, um, that Paul was dealing with, uh, um, Paul was dealing with, and the rest of uh, of um, the disciples, all right? All right, the rest of the prophets he was dealing with, those were Israelites in Greco Roman colonies and wherever they were, they were scattered abroad, man. All right. So, uh, you know, I hope you've been uh, edified. And um, and I'll shout along.